the ADF, the ADF will not be allowed to derail the struggle for Ambazonia's independence. Today is April the 9th, Tuesday, April the 9th, in the year of our Lord, 2024. I am Chris Anu, your comrade in arms for a free and independent Southern Cameroons Ambazonia. And again, the subject of the message I bring to you today is the ADF will not be allowed to derail Ambazonia's independence. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a rare occurrence to find people celebrating over the death of any fighter in the Ambazonia War of Independence. Why the fallen generals of our struggle are mourned without exception, the same cannot be said for fighters of the ADF. Whenever an ADF fighter meets their end, it is met with jubilation and partying celebration. This week, the news emerged of the killing of two notorious ADF fighters in the village of Bessie in Mogamo, Mogamo local government area. These fighters were reportedly gone down by Cameroonian soldiers. Their bodies left abandoned in the market square akin to the fate of General Efang in Montego. As their lifeless bodies laid, exposed, and abandoned, the people of Batibo rejoiced, celebrated, not out of affection for the Cameroonian army, but rather because of the old ideas that say, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. In a normal situation, ADF fighters should be allies. They should be protectors and champions of the people whose rights and freedoms have been trampled upon by the very enemy they purport to fight against. However, a disconcerting pattern emerges with each fallen ADF fighter. And that pattern has been the pattern of celebration and partying, partying for their demise. From Batibo to the rest of Ambazonia, the demise of every ADF fighter, save for General Ivo Mba, has been met with similar fanfare. The two recently killed fighters, once hailed as fighters, had recently instigated a prolonged lockdown in Mogamo, disrupting the lives of residents and impeding commerce. They imposed exorbitant extortion under the guise of so-called liberation tax, resorting to violence against those who resisted it, with some even meeting gruesome ends as a deterrent to others. These actions beg for the question, who is, who is the ADF truly fighting to liberate? They cannot boast of control over a mere quarter of village in Mogamo. And with their focus skewed towards extortion rather than resistance against the occupying forces, the legitimacy of their cause comes into question. The people of Batibo, in their resolve to give up such talks, have taken a commendable stance. They have begun to root out, root out ADF handouts within their community, leading to the exposure of individuals who had become a scourge upon their community. This proactive approach is laudable. And they can count on the unwavering support, the unwavering support of the interim government. When fighters entrusted with a noble task of defending their people turn their weapons against the very people, decisive action is imperative. Mogamo and all Ambazonian communities.